Hey guys, today's a little bit of a PSA and we're gonna be talking about wild reptiles. So any reptile that you happen to come across out kind of in the middle of nowhere, wherever you happen to be, uh, you know, we live, you know, kind of in their world now, we've encroached on them so much. So we're gonna come across them and you know, as it's starting to warm up, every regardless of where you are at least in the northern hemisphere it's starting to warm up snakes are getting more active turtles are starting to come out so you're going to start seeing them a whole lot more and i just wanted to give a little bit of a psa or a couple ideas to think about if you're going to be going out either looking for them specifically or sorry the rats are drinking water in the background or if you just happen to come across them and with me today is moose who is our resident bull snake uh, because he is a very common snake found here both in Colorado where we are and kind of across the country. You know, there are bull snakes from up in Canada all the way far south down into Texas. There's gopher snakes, which are a subspecies of these guys. So they're not, they're in the Pituophis canifer, but they're a different subspecies. So kind of like before the reclassification, it was like the boa constrictor constrictor and the boa constrictor imperator. That's what it was for a long time. Anyway, we're not going to talk about that. That'll be a whole other video. So as things are warming up, you know, you're going to see garden, garter snakes, these bull snakes. If you live in somewhere kind of more arid, you might even see some rattlesnakes or hognose. Or if you live further in the south or the east, you might see some corn snakes and rat snakes and stuff like that. So the biggest thing that I want to talk a little bit about is a lot of people think, is that animal dangerous? Specifically snakes. Is, if it's a snake, is it dangerous? Well, the short answer is, it doesn't matter if it's dangerous or not if you leave it alone. No snake is dangerous if you don't mess with it. So if you guys just happen to come across a rattlesnake, a bull snake, a corn snake, garter snake, whatever it is, you don't have to worry about it if you just leave it alone. The snakes don't want to mess with you anyway. They're super afraid of you to begin with. So if you just happen to come across one, you know, sunbathing on a rock when you're cutting your grass, when you're on a hike, just leave it alone. Um, the next one is if you are specifically going out looking for snakes and stuff like that, that's totally fine. Just the biggest thing to remember is regardless of your skill level, of your knowledge of individual species, whatever it is, if you're going out specifically looking for them, i.e. herping, which is a term that, you know, if anybody's watching this channel probably knows a little bit about, or it's basically going out looking specifically for reptiles and amphibians. If you're going to go out herping, Whatever you do, please, what, however you find that reptile, if you're lifting up tree trunks, if you're lifting up falling wood, rocks, whatever it is, please put whatever it is that you found them under, just put it back the way you found it so that way you're maintaining their actual habitat so they have somewhere to go back to after you find them and take your pictures and show it off to all of your friends on, on Facebook and Instagram stuff because by all means, I absolutely do those things too. I haven't found a whole lot of snakes right now, but found a lot of lizards and a couple amphibians, which is super cool. But, you know, the, the biggest thing is just to remember, leave them alone. Find, if you're going out specifically looking for them, just put it back. There's a lot of people who are, it's getting really popular, especially with like the quarantine and everything else like that. People are going out, especially in the hobby, looking for these guys just to do something because they can't do anything else. And that's totally fine. These things are amazing to see and to, you know, witness in the wild or the wild it is in urban areas that we all live in these days. Just leave them alone. If you're going to interact with them herping and stuff like that, just put their ecosystems back. The other big thing that I really want to talk about is what, just keep an eye out for them, specifically while driving. So we all drive either if we're going to and from work, if we're going out hiking, going up to the mountains, which, you know, regardless of what it is, if you're doing, if you're going and herping, whatever it is. Just keep, keep an eye on the road, like on the sides and the corner of the road, specifically, you know, around dawn and dusk. That's when these guys, a lot of them are coming out. You know, we've all seen that break for turtles thing. It's true. This time of year, if you live in Colorado, you're going to see box turtles. If you live in the south, you're going to see uh, snapping turtles and water turtles. If you live on the east coast, you're going to see stuff like that. Keep an eye out for those guys. Please break for them because... The reason why, a lot of the reasons why they're crossing the roads in the first place is because they're just trying to get to a better place to live. You know, we've essentially driven through all of their habitats and we've carved them up to where there's a lot of habitat fragmentation. So there's no real consecutive way for them to kind of get to where they want to be, whatever water source or better place for them to be to be able to live. So they have to cross the roads. For snakes, they like to get onto the hot asphalt because that retains that heat. So coming out on dusk, it come uh, at dusk. Once the 
sun goes down and the temps drop, the flat top or the flat top or the asphalt holds that heat and snakes like to come out and sit on that asphalt on the streets to warm up a little bit and then they'll get going doing what they're doing which includes these guys bull snakes usually are more of a diurnal species so you'll usually find them in the morning but you know these guys they get confused for resident rattlesnakes kind of wherever they are if you call them gophers or chicken snakes or whatever it is but that's why we have moose here with us but that's all i really want to talk to you guys today about like when you're seeing wild reptiles, especially this time of year, because that's where we're going to see them a lot, just leave them alone. Or if you do see them, and if you are intentionally trying to mess with them, you know, just give them their respect that they deserve as living creatures that you are a predator to them. They're going to be a little afraid of you. And just keep an eye out for them, you know. We're kind of running the show on this planet, so it's up to us to kind of keep an eye on these guys. Hopefully this, this video gave you a little bit to think about couple of ideas if you guys do want to go herping totally fine just remember be respectful of everything else hope you enjoyed it please like and subscribe if you can and i'll check you next time